Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are still using Windows 7 or device, sometimes you want to actually update your device or check if there are still updates on your Windows 7 device. So at this moment, I'm actually using a Windows 7 operating um, Windows 7 Professional. So here you can see I'm using a Windows 7 prof Professional. So definitely I want to advise you, if you are still using Windows 7 Professional, I want to advise you to actually upgrade your Windows 7 to a Windows 8.1 or a Windows 10. And if your device is compatible with Windows 11, you can actually do a fresh install. But at this moment, if you think you are still using Windows 7, and mind you, Microsoft does not actually support Windows 7 with some patches anymore, but you can still get some other updates which can be installed on this device so let's go to check for updates and here we go you see check for update for your computer so if i go to my view update history you can see that there are some updates that have actually been installed on this device and some of this update failed probably for one reason or the other because maybe i shut down the device more quickly because i'm actually installing doing this from a virtual machine so if i go back again and then just click check for updates so let's try to see if any updates were found on this window for this windows 7 operating system because i have access to the internet so if there are any available updates definitely the update will be installed so let's just wait for some seconds for this to check if updates are available or not so here you can see we have two important updates are available and six optional updates are available. So if I click on the two important updates, you can see we have the security monthly quality rollup for Windows 7 and also we have the security intelligence update for Windows Defender Antivirus. So let me click OK. And then we can actually check on the six optional updates which are available. As you know, optional updates are actually not actually um very very important, but they are actually required that's why it's called optional so let's see what are the optional updates that we have for this windows 7 operating system so here you can see we have some preview of multi quality rollup for windows 7 we have update we just have some update and also we have a vmware display update so i'm actually using a vmware workstation professional so what i can do is i can actually just select all the updates and then click OK. And then now I can actually, you can see that uh, one important update selected, and there is about 314 megabytes. And also, we have six optional updates, which is about more than up to also almost 369 megabytes. So let's just click install update and let's wait for some time for the update to start downloading, and then, then it will be installed. So here we go, you can see it says downloading 7 updates and this is going to take some time and you can see we have a kind of a pop-up message that says downloading and installing updates. So the update may take some time depends on how fast your internet is. So let's just wait, I'm going to pause this video and wait for the update to get installed and then come back again. So here you can see that the update is actually being downloaded at the moment. So we have installing update 2 of 7. So if you just wait for some time, you can see it's now three updates out of seven then the update will be downloaded and installed on your device and your device will be also be partially partially secured but mind you you still need some like a very strong antivirus if you are still using windows 7 a very strong antivirus to be able to protect your device if your device is not getting all the required patches from microsoft so here we go you can see that the update just gets installed and right now you can see it's actually asking us to restart our device to complete the update installation but mind you, you see we see one failed update error found code 8024200 the windows update and canon and unknown error so what we can actually do is um we can actually restart our device and try to restore the update again thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and um, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are still using Windows 7 operating system and you need some good support of that um, of your operating system, you can always send me a personal email through kelvglobal.com. That's my blog. You can see it at the screen of this um, video and I will reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Bye.